Happy Friday! It's Jennifer Sinceri with Stampin' Up! And I am so glad to be with you tonight. It's Fun Friday. Are you ready to get some stamping therapy done? Shoot me a comment and let me know that you are here, that you are watching. I would love to be able to see who is here. <clears throat> Tonight, I have three cards that I'm going to make with you using Joyful Life. And then we're going to pull some elements from the Gorgeous Leaves bundle. Hi, Lori from Ohio. How are you, friend? Happy Friday. So I got some new toys we're going to play with tonight. We're going to christen them tonight. They haven't even seen ink yet. Hi, Jeannie. Oh, I've been back to school, Lori, for, let's see. Um, um, let me think. I finished my first full week, and then we had two days before that. So we've been at school seven days. Yeah. Hi, Stacy. Happy Friday. So, yep, I've been back at school seven days. We finished our first full week, and I'm glad it's Friday because I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, you know, you're on summer break, and your body decides to get lazy because you're on summer break. And uh, I was used to being able to sleep in and have my own schedule, and now I'm back to a school schedule. So, anywho, it's been fun. The kids are great. Um, so, it's all good. All good. Yes, it is hard to get back into the swing of things. Yes, indeed. Okay, guys. Like I said, tonight we're going to play with Joyful Life. And um, Gorgeous Leaves together. I'm making three cards tonight with you. I'm in a fall-ish mood. I saw someone posted um, that they were getting a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks this week. And we've been so hot here in Sacramento. It's uh, We're going to have another heat wave. It's going to be triple digits tomorrow. So sipping... Pumpkin spice lattes does not sound appealing to me, but I'm so ready for fall. Uh, now that I'm back at school, it's like, okay, summer's over. No more summer. <laughs> I need to uh, get into the attic and get all my decorations out and start decorating for autumn. Okay. Oh, it looks like I didn't put my do not disturb on. So forgive me. My husband's trying to call me. <laughs> You're hearing my phone ringing probably. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Happy Friday, everyone. Okay. So enough gabbing, right? Enough gabbing. So in our mini catalog, hopefully you guys all have a mini catalog. If you don't have one, let me know. I would love to send you one for free. On page 63 is this adorable stamp set, and I didn't get it my first, my first run through the catalog. So this was a stamp set I actually got for free. I earned it with some reward money, or credits, I should say. And I was admiring these cute little guys um, the whole time, but I thought, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Well, then, since I had some host rewards to use up, I thought, okay, I'm going to get it. Super cute, super cute. So page, like I said, page 63, there's two samples there. I don't think there's any more samples because it's not a bundle. It's just a single stamp set. It sells for $20, has three images, actually four, no, actually five because there's some little, I don't even know what those are. I have no clue. And then little leaves and the three sentiments. Um, and I'm going to show you tonight that you can use the stamp set to make fall cards. You can use it for Christmas cards if you wanted to. Actually, I don't have a Christmas card plan. Maybe I need to 
maybe I need to whip one up real quick with you. And then even, um, well, this could be Christmas. There's a little holly leaf in there. I didn't even notice that there, but it could just be an apple leaf or a peach leaf. So, I mean, this could even be summer. There's so much we could do with this. I'm not looking, I'm not seeing spring here, but I'm seeing at least summer, fall, and winter. All right. And then gorgeous leaves. Gorgeous leaves. I didn't find the page that that one was on. It is a very pretty stamp set also. Nope, that's not it. It is a bundle. It has some very pretty dies that go with it. Maybe I need to use the table of contents. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Let's see. What page is it on? You guys are putting up with me tonight. I am exhausted, so I'm just letting you know I'm a little loopy tonight. Just a, just a tad. All right, page 47. This is our gorgeous leaves bundle. So there's a couple samples here, and because it's a bundle, you'll find a couple more samples, at least one more, in the back. All right? Gorgeous dies that go with this. Um, so... Speaking of dies, I just wanted to see how intricate these are. Okay, so I did cut out a few because we're going to use them on a card. So this guy right here is that leaf. Isn't that just beautiful? So stinking pretty. And then we've got this little guy and this guy. I haven't punched out all the little pieces yet. And then this little guy. So very intricate, very pretty. A lot to do with it. These images here, the outline ones, will cut out the three big leaves. All right, so there's a lot you can do with these dies. I'm loving them. All right, so let's get started. Let's get started. Which one do I want to do first? Let's do the summery, the summery springy type card that I planned, okay? Um, we're going to start with a balmy blue card base, and then I took our lovely Sweet as a Peach DSP, and it looks like I've um, had to get a couple little stray, little stray guys. Let's see. I got home, let's see, what time did I get home today? 4.30-ish, 4.30-ish, and bless my son's heart, he's a 10th grader, uh, he had a rough day at school today, there were a couple kids who were uh, teasing him today at school, and uh, he was not, not a happy camper, so he was telling me about his day, broke my heart, Mama Grizzly Bear wants to go and kick somebody's butt, but of course I'm not going to do that. Right? So then I said, well, who was it? Who was it? <laughs> who was giving you a hard time? And he's like, Mom, don't do anything. As I'm writing down the name, I said, oh, no, I'm not going to do anything. I'll just pray for her. <laughs> I'm just going to pray for her to be convicted. <laughs> oh, I hate it when kids are mean. Right? Why can't they just be nice? Why can't we just all be nice and get along? Seriously. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that just so cute? All right. I'm thinking this is a, oops, I'm thinking this is a hedgehog, right? It's a hedgehog. Am I right? I don't think it, could it be a porcupine? I don't know. Is that a porcupine or a hedgehog? I cannot tell. So we're going to use that one, and then we need a couple sentiments. Yes, Sharon, kids can be so mean. Like, come on, really? Is that how you want to be treated? So the mama bear in me wants to go down there and set someone straight, but if my mom had done that, I would have been mortified. So... I will, I will resist. I will hold back. But if they mess with my kid again, I don't know. Like they were making.
making fun of his sideburns and making fun of his shirt being too baggy. Come on, really? Okay, so I am putting on our little stickers here. Uh, yeah, some adults are kind of mean too because I guess they never learned how to be nice when they were kids. Yes, I agree. Okay, now I pulled this guy, this beautiful piece of DSP, and this piece are cut out with the Contour Dyes set, which I highly recommend. They are in the annual catalog. I've used them multiple times, multiple times. They have several pieces. I tend to use one of them most, most of the time. Um... But I need to start using some of the other pieces because they are just gorgeous. They are found. Where are they found? They're, no, that's the Stitch So Sweetly dies. We're not using those tonight. <clears throat> Am I blind? All right, apparently I'm blind. All right, Stacy, I'm counting on you, girl. You can find the page number because I don't want to waste everyone's time. She's like, seriously, why do you always make me do it? Why do I always have to bail you out? Okay, I'm just inking up my cute little critter. I have no idea. Is it a, a porcupine or a hedgehog? You guys decide. You guys are going to have to decide. I want it in the middle or I want it, I want it, I think about there. I am proud that he did share with me. Yes, Sharon. I actually was really pleased um, that he told me what was going on. Bless his heart. I gave him a hug and I said, I'm so sorry that they were mean to you. And um, he wanted to do a sleepover tonight with a friend. And I said, well, we can't because I have ladies coming over tomorrow to stamp. So he wasn't really happy about that. I said, any other day, any other day, I would have done it. But I can't because I don't think the ladies are going to want um, a bunch of teenagers over while they're trying to stamp. <clears throat> So we got to figure something out. Maybe dad will take him out for the day and do something fun to get his mind off of things. Okay, I'm trying to bait. I think we're going to use some petal pink for her face and hands and then maybe try some cinnamon cider. Let's do that. All right. So I love this Stampin' Blends, you guys. Either you love them or you hate them. Um, when I'm not doing blending, they're really quick. They're really quick coloring. So that's nice. Doesn't take you super long to color. I don't know if I want to color. Those look like she's wearing shoes. Hmm. Is she wearing shoes? Because I'm not seeing feet. So cute. All right, so I'm just going to do her little prickles. Guess I'll fill this in with light cinnamon cider. Am I using the light one? I hope I am. Yes. Whew. Okay. Fill this space in, and then we can go in with a dark pen and do a couple um, dark here and there. All right. So what is everyone planning to do this weekend? Now that it's Friday, we made it through another week. We survived. 
I've been exhausted. My poor daughter, bless her heart. We found her in bed yesterday. Poor Audrey. She put herself to bed like at 630. <laughs> She's a seventh grader. Um, I think she has just... She's done. She's like, Mom, I'm done. I'm so tired. <laughs> My poor babies. Middle school and high school can be rough. For sure. I have to say, middle school was like my least favorite time. But I'm not going to tell her that. Maybe it'll be her favorite. All right, let's do some balmy blue for her apron. Or we can leave the apron white. Maybe we'll do the bowl. The bowl will be balmy blue. All right. Hubby just got home. He was out running errands. All right. Put a little dark in there, maybe. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but. And then I have to decide what are those little pieces of food going to be? Are they going to be peaches? Are they going to be apples? They could be green apples. They could be peaches. I don't know. I don't know. What should they be? Where's my black? Here's my black. So let's see. Sharon is going to an outdoor Irish festival tomorrow. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I bet they'll have Irish dancing. That would be fun. I know a couple of the ladies that are watching tonight, they're going to come over to my house and stamp. So that'll be fun. Need more color on these. These are a little too light. Let me pull the darker color. This is um, papaya. Oh, thank you, Stacy. Scallop contour dies are on page 98. She bailed me out again. She's such a good friend and team member. Okay. <clears throat> Thinking we want to color her apron. I feel like we just need a little more color. What do you guys think? A little more color on there. I'm going to go with the dark, balmy blue. Okay. Almost done. Almost done. <clears throat> We've got a couple more fires now. The fires went away and then they came back. So it's very smoky here again, which has made my allergies flare up. All right. A little something for a great person. Oh. Cuteness. Now, hi, Deanna. Welcome. Happy Friday. I'm pulling my light pool party because I thought I might go around here just with a little bit to kind of like create just like a little shadow outline. Make it pop a little more. It's a little trick. Like when there's a lot of white. I just kind of outline it with that very light pool party and it kind of makes it pop a little bit. Mm 
gives it like a little shadow very very light very subtle you can barely even see it but it it makes it kind of like I said pop a bit okay the apron color almost matches my nails a little bit huh my nails are very sparkly this like I said ladies a couple weeks ago this is not my go-to color I was kind of in one of those moods where I was like I don't know what to get my nails painted I go next week to get them done I'm thinking of doing more like a purple color this time purple's always good I haven't done purple in a while I don't usually do blues. I do navy blue around 4th of July usually. Um, I don't do greens and blues typically. But it was fun. It was a, it was a change. It was a change. Something different. Okay, we're going to put some dimensionals on here. Oh, kitty cat's in the room, holding my breath. She better not. She just better not. Okay. And then I think we'll pop that up a little bit. Oh. Thanks for sharing the video. Those of you that already have, I really appreciate that. Whenever you share the video, <laughs> that is one way that doesn't cost you anything <coughs> to support my small business and help it grow. So I always appreciate that. And it, maybe, maybe someone who has never tried stamping before will find it and go, ooh, that looks like fun. I should give that a try. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, that's a cute little card. Um, let's see. We can <coughs> dress it up just a little bit more. <coughs> my my um, voice is kind of going a little bit from all that smoke. Now that's a really big ribbon. I don't think I want that big of a ribbon. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find my other. There it is. The sheer. What are these called? I love these. Love, love, love. What's it called? Open weave ribbon. Let's try that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So you have, let's see, September, no, August. We're in August. August is almost over. We've just got a couple days left in August. And then that brings September. So that means you've got one more month, one more month of celebration. So, <clears throat> remember, you can stock up on some fun papers for free. I, I stocked up on envelopes and cardstock and adhesive the other day and earned some um, free items. And where did my uh, glue dot go? My husband just came up the stairs inside. I don't have any food. Um, let's see. I just, just had my glue dots. I'm not doing so well tonight, ladies. We'll use some of these. I wanted my bigger ones, but I don't see them. Okay. My husband was supposed to bring me dinner. He just said, I didn't get any food. Guess I'm starving tonight. It's all right. Okay. 
he had to go to Home Depot. He hates Home Depot. And it's hot outside, so. Okay. Cute little ribbon on the corner. Cute, cute, cute. I love the scallop die, don't you? Isn't that just beautiful? Love, love, love. And how about a couple little rhinestones, maybe? What do you think? No? Yes? Let's see. Hmm. I don't know if we need it. That one's pretty big. Maybe, maybe one there. And maybe one there. I always feel like you can fit in some rhinestones. I want to move. Let me move this one. I'm going to put the smaller one right there. Let's put the bigger one on the outside. And this one. I don't like this one here. It's too big. It's just too big. Let's do another little baby one. Maybe we'll do it right there. Okay. Oh, cat on the table. Hey, Shelly, how are you? Very cute card. Super duper easy. Isn't that sweet? Can you guys see it okay? All right. Moving on to the next card. Now we're going to go a little more fallish. Okay, we need these guys. And we're gonna use a different stamp now from that set. So let me pull this. We're gonna use the bear on the bike. Okay, so let me take these little tabs off. Thanks guys. I just love DSP. I love designer series paper. But gosh darn it, I think I love everything Stamping Up does. I love their stamps, I love their paper, and I'm not just saying that. I just am so pleased. I just love. Now, I mean, granted, there's not there's some stamp sets that are not my style. But I love um, most of it, for sure. Okay, forgive me because my blocks are super dirty. I need to put them through the uh, dishwasher and get all the stuff off of them. All right, and then what sentiment are we going to use on this one? Mm, let's do the friends. Friends something something friends something something and there's some cute little leaves here we're gonna use <clears throat> so let me grab where did the other stickers go there they are This one. All right. And then we need our sentiment. Here we go. Okay, three stamps we're gonna use. I have basic white 
card base. I actually ran out of our thick white cardstock, so I'm doubling up a little bit. I cut this one an eighth, just an eighth of an inch smaller to just give it a little more weight because I ran out of um, thick cardstock, which I, I hate that. Um, so then I cut a piece of DSP, different pack of paper. This is the Harvest, Harvest something. I used it last week. All right, and this is, I want to say one inch wide, inch and a half, inch and a half in width. We're just going to put this on the top, all right? Now, to make this look a little fallish, I cut some cherry cobbler. Now, it truly doesn't have cherry cobbler in there, but it, it, uh, I feel like it, it works. It will work. And I, that darker color is going to make this look more like a fall card, okay? instead of springy summery. All right, so I just cut a little stripe to use for a border. Then I cut some leaves and I'm actually gonna cut the stem off of this because I'm going to just put this here and we're gonna have our little biker Hopefully this is all going to fit. I might have to cut it, um, cut it thinner. We'll see. We shall see. All right, let me see if I can make this work. If it's not going to fit, then we might have to um, cut our DSP a little shorter. We'll see. Oops. There we go. All right. I love this cute little teddy bear. It's so cute. Let's see if that'll fit. Is that going to fit? Barely. I'm going to have to trim it because it hangs over a little bit. But that's okay. We'll make it work. Just a little bit, we'll trim. Unless, yeah, I'm gonna wanna trim it. And then let's put our little stripe on here. Okay. trying to use up my scraps. I don't usually keep the little itty bitty pieces. All right, put that guy right there. Now, because this is so intricate, I'm going to use liquid glue. So, Put a couple little dots of liquid glue. Oh, and see, it came out because I, I uh, was a little more aggressive with it tonight. <laughs> Just a couple dots. Doesn't need it all over. Ah, get back over there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and then we've got, and I'm going to color this, don't worry. It's going to get colored. 
I cut out some more little leaves. Plus, I want to stamp some leaves. So let's let's um grab our black memento and let's do like a couple of leaves like he's just blowing them because he's just going super fast. Oh, cat's on the table. Leia, what are you doing? Get down. All right. Oh, and I need my sentiment. Cat's distracted me. Friends like you make life a joy. I'm going to color it first and then I'll put it down. Let's see. I don't know that I like that big old, big old green leaf. We'll see. Where's my therapist? I need to get out a couple more little tiny pieces here. So the, because these are such intricate dies, when I put them through my die cutting machine, I actually ran them through twice to to hopefully get out those little pieces to get them to come out easier. And it worked. I feel like that green leaf is just so big. So big! Maybe we'll just do... Or I could do another gold one. I think we'll do that. Oh, I had it right here. Too many bottles of glue. Okay. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. How did I have it? I don't want to stay. You're finding a, you're having a hard time finding your memento ink. Why well, no, we sell it. Huh. Yeah, you can order it through Stampin' Up. All right. That's Well, it's a basic that everyone uses. We're going to let that dry clear. It's a little bit I had to use a little bit more than I wanted to, but it'll dry clear. Okay, let's color our critter. So I've pulled some cherry cobbler and soft suede. I think I've got crumb cake here. And I'm going to color the bike. So the bike, I'm going to do a light smoky slate. All right, so we're just going to color the bike frame. Super easy. Okay. I got all the parts and then <clears throat> I'm 
Let's do his sweater. And go back in with dark. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to use the other. Um, other tip because it won't take as long. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's go in with a little dark. Now, let's see. I think, do I want to do crumb cake on him or the soft suede? I'm going to test out the soft suede and see what it looks like before I put it on my bear. That, ooh, that's pretty dark. And then crumb cake. I think I'm going to go with crumb cake. Oops, let's do. Yeah, let's do crumb cake. Okay. I'm going to go with all over with light. And then we'll add in a little bit of detail with the dark. He could be a polar bear if you kept him white. which you could use on a Christmas card if you wanted to, without the little leaves. You could turn him into a Christmas polar bear. That would be cute. All right, do, do, do. Now, those leaves are still kind of sticky. Let's go in with the dark. And all these little tufts of, of his fur, I'm going to go in with my dark. Okay, and I'll outline. And it always goes on darker because it's wet. All right. Um, and it'll dry. It'll lighten up when it dries. But if it's too harsh, you can always go in with the light again. Oh, he's got his little hands. I forgot to do his hands. Okay, let's go back in there and do his hands. See if I can lighten that up. Am I doing the light one again? Yeah. Whew. So I'm just going back over that to kind of blend that a little bit so it doesn't look so harsh. I always kind of do circular, a circular motion. There. Doesn't that look better? Okay, now we need to do our little, um, our little bunny, and we've got a basket here. I'm going to do a darker basket. Ooh, that's really dark. 
don't think I like that. So I think what I'm going to do, because that's really dark, I'm going to go in with some color lifter. Let's see if we can lighten that up a little bit. You can't, it won't take off the color, but it will lighten it up a little bit. That's a pretty dark, that's a pretty dark, dark color. Let me go in with the lighter soft suede. There we go. That looks a little better. There we go. All right, what color are we going to do our bunny? I guess I could do a gray bunny because... He needs something. Let's do a gray bunny. Okay, cute. I'm going to color his little inside of his ear with some petal pink. And then we need to do our leaves. Let's do some leaves. What is this color? I think we could do... Okay, a couple of those. We'll do maybe a couple green ones. And then do a red. Ooh, my tip isn't all that great. Let's do the other side. I have to replace my red. Okay, and then like I did on the other card, I'm just going to go around with that very light pool party and just create a shadow. I just feel like it looks a little more professional. I don't know. It just sets it apart. And it's so light, don't worry. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, what do you guys think? You like that? I love coloring. I feel like it's so relaxing. Helps me de-stress. Okay, and we're going to put this on our card base, but remember I need to trim it just a little bit because <clears throat> my DSP was a little bit too long. I wanted to fit my whole image of my bear. Okay, we'll start here at the bottom, and I remember I cut it an eighth shorter so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use my paper snips right now 
Okay. There we go. Isn't that super cute? That's the second card. All right, third card, we're gonna do the pig. That's the last image. The last image in this really cute set. So let me get him ready. He's holding a little Starbucks in his hand. Or maybe it's maybe it's another coffee shop. But he's got a little hot something in his hand. It could be cocoa, it could be coffee, or maybe even cider. And then let's see, do we have any other, it says season's greetings for you. I'm not really doing a Christmas card. I guess I could have, but I was kind of in an autumn mood. I'm going to do for you. We'll just do for you. Make sure you look at your writing very carefully because when you put these down, they don't come off. So you don't want to put it on the wrong way. That would be very bad. Okay, and I just used the little sharp end to kind of help pry off my stamps because they are super sticky. these little guys. I don't know what they are, but they're intriguing me. Okay. And I need a small, a small block. Because I am prepping for my workshop, I've used up most of my blocks on my card kits for tomorrow. Yeah, this card is going to be more autumn-y, but what I was saying was that you could turn this pump, um, you could turn this pig into a Christmas card if you wanted to. You could easily color the striped scarf green and red and add some um, Christmas DSP and then you've got a Christmas card. You could put a coffee gift card on the inside if you created a pocket. That would be really cute. Now I'm gonna have to do that. I don't know what these little guys are, but we're just gonna, I don't know. Are they like, what are they? I'm afraid to use it. I don't even know what those are. I don't want to ruin my card, but I want to know what that is. <laughs> okay, pigs look pink. So we're going to use petal pink for our pig. That's papaya. We don't want papaya. Where's my other pink? There's my light petal pink and my dark. Okay, I'm going to do the inside of his ears light. Okay, we're going to do his nose light. And then we'll do the rest of him darker.
I'm going to use the other end to see if that will. My other end isn't all that great. It needs to be replaced. My pens get a lot of use from my classes and from myself. Sometimes when you have to be very careful with your caps because um, if you're not, you could ruin the brush tip. So be careful with those. It looks like this one is getting dried up too. little feet or legs it's tiny little legs in there and then I'm even going to do his curly Q tail okay now let's do his scarf and I'm using fall colors so the scarf we're gonna want to be some fallish colors okay so Let's do, I've got cinnamon cider we could try. Um, what about, because I, I don't want it to be blah looking. We don't want blah. Cajun craze I think would not really go with that. I don't know, we could do red. But where's my, um? oh, my pumpkin pie is being used with something else. We'll do, and I want to go over the little cap with black just to make it really sharp looking. There we go. And the cup. I'm going to do a light gray. Okay. And then let's try some stripes. And then we need another color in there. Um, let's do, I could do a little bit of green. Do maybe a little green. That's cute. Do a little, the little fringes on the bottom. I think it needs a little more something. It's too, too pale. So I'm going to pull some more cherry cobbler and we're gonna make a little mat for this. It just, it's too much up against that um, crumb cake DSP. It's too, too light. We need a bold color. So let's just cut another little mat. Okay, and I think that will help. Let's see. Much better. Much better. All right, we're almost done. Almost done. I really appreciate you guys joining me and having some fun with me tonight. I know some of you have already started your Christmas cards. Is anyone going to be making some fall cards? Let's put 
put this on. No fall cards for you guys. No pumpkin spice cards. Fall is my one of my favorite times of the year. Okay, make sure your wheat is not upside down. And then let's put those up on some dimensionals. I think I'm gonna give out a couple Thanksgiving cards this year. And then I'm going to have a couple cards that are just thinking of you, but they're fall themed. Um, I just feel like with everything that's going on in the world right now, we, I just need to keep encouraging my friends and letting them know I'm thinking of them and praying for them. And um, I want them to feel encouraged, you know? Now, I feel like I need a bow on there too, but I don't, I don't have any early espresso ribbon and I wish I did because that would be perfect. I may have to go through my stash and dig something out um, to put on there. So I would put a bow if it was if I had early espresso that's what I would use on this because I think that would be really really good to bring in that dark. But I think I'm going to put maybe one Maybe we'll put one here, little rhinestone, and we'll do two down here just to give it a little sparkle, a little magic, okay? And there's our cute little pig. All right. I hope you enjoy this. I think this is an adorable stamp set. It's called Joyful Life, and I feel like it's got a lot of potential. It can make um, winter, fall, maybe even some spring, summer. Just depends on how you do it up. Your, pol your little bear could be a polar bear. This could be fall. You could turn it into a Christmas. Um, and again, this could be summery or Christmas. You could turn, you could put little holly in here. Be super cute. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate reaching out to me. If you guys need a catalog, please let me know. You can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram and on YouTube. So I hope you guys all have a great weekend and I'll see you next week. Okay. Bye-bye.